Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know it's not my card today, but um, I decided to do another, um, I guess snap 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 snap. <laughs> if you're new here, <laughs> my name is Lee, and I welcome back to Gentle Bluebird. Um. Or gentle blue it doesn't matter my name is liana and um i don't know how to talk or speak so that's that and then two um i don't know what the fuck of understanding is anymore but anyways i'm losing subscribers so if you would love to subscribe to your girl i would gladly love it here we are family here and i'm talking to you as you're talking to me honestly i um just don't understand things anymore like kids are influencers now and then you have people like me that are just struggling to live in society and then you have kids that have like almost no there's some kids with the million subscribers and then there's even like even followers on instagram and it's like how are kids influencers and they can't even fucking say influencers this generation scares me you know and i know like boomers like say that to like you know gen z but Gen Alpha is worse than us, you know? And I'm not even, like, Gen Z. I'm, like, also millennial, you know? So I, I, I fit more, like, me generally, even though, like, two, two, oh, fuck, what the hell? 1999 is, quote-unquote, Gen Z. I see myself personality wise and just overall i more majority more of my friends are millennials than gen z um and that's just how i was raised too i was raised a lot by like i had a lot more people around me older than me and my second cousins being millennials and adults so yeah um i don't know I don't really know how I feel about it, honestly. I wouldn't let my kid... Because it's just, like... Even, like, with school and everything, like, I don't, like, my fear of, you know, being bullied and everything, because I know I was bullied, and I don't want my kid to be bullied and everything, but it's just, like, do... Do parents ever wonder about the safety of their children, you know? With just allowing their kid just to, like, do and say whatever. Because what if they get stuck? What if they, like, accidentally say your address and everything like that? So it's just, like, me saying, like. <laughs> and then why are they putting retinol on their face and they're only not even, like, 13? I saw this one. There was this. It was about a few weeks ago, I think, or something about that. And the girl there was a girl and a mother she looked about the daughter looked about maybe nine or ten at the um at the most and then the mother was a, of course the daughter was like getting into makeup and whatever and this was like a real cute conversation and she was just like she was show, uh she was saying something about um about something I don't I don't remember what product it was and the mother was just like you don't need it right now you it's not good for your skin or whatever she was just like how long do you think I would uh would need it she was like maybe about 13 14 but right now it's bad for your skin it was a real cute conversation I was like wow why can all parents be like that instead of being like no uh no it's not like in a con not not like like in a condescending way like she explained perfectly of why and the daughter didn't even had an attitude but like all my friends have it but that's not fair like she was really really respectful about it i really thought it was so cute and i was like now that's a bond i wish i had with my mother you know but we all can't that's a dream that we all can't have but i thought that that bond was so cute and i don't think that bond is ever going to be separable because she was really she was really like mature like to her daughter like she was treating her daughter like a human being and not as a child 
So it was really cute with how that interaction was. And I was like, oh, that was so cute. And I even whispered to myself, like, that is so cute. Because you don't see that a lot. Because you see one scenario where the kid gets bratty and gets uh, disrespectful to the mother. and the, Or the other scenario would be like... Um, <clears throat> The mother would be like too condescending to the child and want to rip the child apart. And the other scenario would be they're both arguing back and forth and causing a scene and the kid throwing a tantrum. And so it's really, it's really rare to see good interactions like that. And I was like, oh, that was so cute. I was like, why can't social media parents be the same way? Like they had to have like the kids having drunk elephant and um shit that is so damn expensive that I can't even fucking afford so it's just like how are, how one how are you affording it and I can't afford it and two your kid is eight what why do they need a skincare routine at eight years old I don't even have a skincare routine and I'm 20 and I'm gonna be 25 in two weeks <laughs> like this whole generation of like and I'm thinking like you know because like a lot of people are leaving like my generation is leaving YouTube so you think okay well now maybe there's time for us older you know people to like make content and it'll be easier for us to grow and now it's the children that are getting the benefit of it and I'm sitting here and I can't even get a hundred subscribers you know so I'm just like, well, okay, I know I already suck, but why are kids already having, <laughs> being monetized and I can't even get monetized? Not that, what, no, but it's just, it, how, and it's the parents that want to live off of their ch children, one, and so the children are working for their parents. And it sucks that, you know, the family channels are, like, making their kids do channels thinking, like, it's the lifestyle that they only know of. And it's, like, sad. It's sad that they can't really have, like, a life, you know, with the 90 kids. I'm calling myself a 90 kids. But I grew up without internet for the first half, like, you know, their age. So I knew what life is like without, you know, technology. They can't have a nostalgic moment like we do with silly bands and wheelies or heelys. What was it called? And all the shows of Disney Channel because they're not, they're not, they're always consumed of being an influencer. And that's, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's really it, it. It doesn't. It doesn't boggle my mind that that this is what uh this younger generation is only consuming is that they have these influencers, and it's not like we have. They have influence around their age because it's mainly us. Well, my age group, like twenty and older, and they're getting. Botox and plastic surgery so they're saying like oh this is how the world is going to be accepted and it's just like they really don't have anybody to say like you don't need all that stuff to be beautiful built well <laughs> but beautiful like you don't need to just because your friends have it or just because it's popular you know and it's and it's sad because I'm just like I don't even have my light together and it, it they already have their shit, like, already on together. And I'm like, where did I went wrong? Is it that I didn't have the love and and, and the support from my own family? Because I, I don't know, okay? And I'm looking at, like, what? Like, how does this, how does an eight-year-old has a skincare routine? And I can't even figure out my daily routine. <laughs> even have a social life and they are already having a daily social life and I'm like why am I breathing you know if an eight-year-old has their life together and I and I'm 25 and I don't have nothing like I don't know 
I question myself every fucking day of just how, how, why, how and why, because God can't answer that. So can somebody answer me like how and why is this happening and this and it's not even like it's okay because YouTube can't do something about it but they don't do it because they're making money off of, of the kids. So if they take the kids off the internet, they don't have no money. So they're also using the exploitation to for the growth of their their business. But they already have fucking billions of dollars. But the safety of the child is not important. And only it will happen when one, if one gets dead. I mean, kids already have been stopped. But it's not going to do anything if you hear somebody being killed. And then it's too late. And that's the same way with being bullied. You know, the kid will tell their parents, the kid will tell a teacher, the kid will tell an adult, and they will they will all ignore it. And then they when the kid, you know, commits, they don't understand how it would happen. And even even I've got in trouble multiple times and and I'm the victim. I'm not playing the victim, but I'm the victim of the bully. But the bully gets off, you know, two-day suspension, and then they come back and they're still tormenting me. And harassing me. And then for people to be like, oh, well, you shouldn't dwell on the past and whatever. But I was just like, that that is harassment, one. And it's trauma because those are developing, developing years, okay? And then also dealing with the separ separation of parents and all of that and then my grandmother being sick or you know even all of that is contributing of all of it so it's not fucking dwelling you're not dwelling it's traumatic it's a, and it's a traumatic experience that a lot of people that has to take time and heal from it you just don't want to admit that you're a horrible person And I'm not saying you in general, but I'm just saying for the person that always keeps saying, oh, well, don't dwell because they, they just don't want to take accountability like Colleen does because she wants to play the victim when she has victims of, of her circumstances. But but she she's in therapy. She's talking to her therapist. Her career is ruined. But why was your career ruined when you did all those things with receipts and then you want to say like, oh, well, those are fake and still haven't put a statement or still haven't had a sit down video uh, of explaining why were those fake and misconstrued? Hello? Because that's, that's the whole thing of why I'm pissed off with that whole situation, you know? <sighs> And I have to keep reminding myself, like, I don't want to do this for, like, the views or whatever. I don't really care about, like, the monetization. It's just that my goal is just to having an understanding that, you know, I'm here for the person who feels alone. I'm here for the person who feels like nobody, they don't have no support. Because I'm in those situations, I understand. And it just sucks that, you know, that I'm losing subscribers and everything. Like, it doesn't matter, but at the same time, I just feel like, you know, I, and I even rewatch my videos sometimes, and I feel like, there's really nothing wrong where you can't say that I'm not funny, or I'm boring, or whatever, because I'm generally entertaining, but people don't want genuine entertainment, they want fake entertainment, they want all the cuts, they want Mr. B style, um, content and not everybody is fit with personality like that of content and what what is what is what is the point of doing youtube content and you're copying off of somebody just for the same clicks and views when you when you don't want to do that and i'm not like hating on him or whatever i'm not jealous of him i really don't care i don't know him but it's just like everybody is drawn to that 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 source of content 
And then it's just like, and then now everybody's saying, oh, well, YouTube is changing. And I'm just like, is it changing? Because kids aren't fucking influencers. How is that changing when it's depromising the child's well-being and development growth? I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait until you hit that subscribe button. If you don't like me, you can hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But this is, I don't know. Um, But yeah, these are like Snapchat kind of stories, you know, because I explained it in the last one. And clearly it's likable because I got 30 views on it and two likes. So clearly you like the entertainment or you like the style that I'm doing as like, you know, full Snapchat. Well, I don't even post on Snapchat anymore because I just hitting the holding the button like that. And then I can't fully like do what I'm doing here. So I guess I'm doing it here. I don't know. But yeah, that's just like my thoughts of what's been going on and everything with just how how are kids influencers and and making a living easily but they're only doing it for for because it's popular well not because it's popular but they're only doing it because they see it's working for you know someone their age and then it works for them but what if you know when they turn 25 how would they feel because it, it's just like how are you how are you going to develop and I know there's going to be psychological uh, benefits of it, uh, negative benefits when they do get my age because they're already pretending to be an adult. And then when they're an actual adult, adult, it's just like they they don't. How how would you adapt to it? Because you've been an adult before you were adult. Adult. I don't know how to speak. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't fucking know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my opinion's irrelevant. But this is like an opinion kind of thing. And so I'm hope I'm in frame. I'm sorry if I'm not. But I don't know. I, I have a lot of questions about that. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.